Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. We got what looks like a 1091E near Peachtree exit 285. All cars ask to keep on the lookout for a 91E in the area. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion, then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you killed. Be advised, uh, medical personnel and Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do oh, say shit. so. This other time... <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Uh. 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 
I need to drag myself out that window. easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? Holy shit! What in the hell? Get away from me! Shit! Where the hell are you? Don't make me do this! Anybody? Help! We 
Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Coming in! Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you.